Hi, Grace family. I'm Joel Cook, and I want to share a passage with you uh, that I hope will be encouraging today. So let me read from Genesis chapter 12, the first three verses. The Lord said to Abram, leave your native country, your relatives, and your father's family, and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous, and you will be a blessing to others. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who treat you with contempt. All the families on earth will be blessed through you. What I love about the story of Abraham is that um, God seems to choose Abraham almost out of nowhere. Um, he just sort of appears and completely changes Abram's life. And he, he calls him to a life of blessing. God promises him great things. He makes this covenant, this promise with him uh, to bless him and that all the world will, will be blessed through him. And we as Christians continue in that inheritance. We are called to be part of God's family, but it's not just for ourselves. It's so that we can bless those around us, call them into the kingdom of Christ that we've been brought into as a continuation of that covenant with Abraham. And so I think as we, you know, look around us and we see these situations, um, it, it feels a little bit like we've been taken out of our native land, away from our uh, what our normal routine is, uh, what's what we see every day, how we interact with people every day. You know, we maybe we're seeing our families more, uh, maybe we're seeing our colleagues less, we're doing um, uh, leisure activities less or differently. Um, but I think that the Lord is giving us an opportunity here that we are interacting in new ways. He's calling us out of familiarity into the unknown to trust him. And he's given us abundant blessings. He's given us life in Christ, the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us, but not just for us, to be a blessing. And so what an opportunity it is to see people and share that love, that blessing with them in new ways that we wouldn't interact with them normally. And so I want to take a minute and pray that the Lord would do just that in our lives today. Father, would you um, show us opportunities uh, fill us with delight in your promises and help us to share that with people in situations that might seem inconvenient, but Father, you work through inconvenience and you work through um, uh, unexpected ways all the time. So Father, give us eyes to see that uh, and a delight to live into your calling in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.